Hello, everybody. I welcome you to the Food for Diabetes webinar, okay? The Food for Diabetes Masterclass. So today, I'm going to teach you how you can reverse your diabetes in two simple and natural ways without you having to depend on medications, okay? And also waste a lot of cash on things that would not work for you, okay? Now, I'm guessing for a lot of you, this is not your first webinar, Okay, the first thing I want to mention is that if you have failed in the past at being at your best health or managing your diabetes in the past, it's not your fault because sincerely there is a lot of information out there, okay? And it can be confusing to many people, okay? And sometimes that information overload is what can keep you from success because today is one new thing, tomorrow is another thing, you know, that doesn't work after another, okay? So it's it can be quite exhausting, all right? If you have been concerned in the past that you may never get better without depending on your drugs, I want you to put all of those fears to rest because you really can do it, okay? The thing is, you just need the right guide, okay? The big corporations, pharmaceutical companies, they may want you to think that you need to solely 100% depend and live on your medications every single day to make sure that you don't die from things like diabetes, okay? Well, I'm here to tell you that they are wrong. They have their own reasons for wanting you to think that, but it's not completely true, okay? So why they want you to, if, if you think that they want you to remain sick, then you're probably right, okay? Because they don't benefit from you being well and active, okay? They make a lot of money selling medications, that would make you feel relieved and crash your blood sugar in a short term. But with consistent use, it weakens your immune system and it reduces your quality of life, okay? And that would make you to seek options over and over and over again, okay? Now, let's not even get started with so many people online that mix all manner of herbs and solutions, you know, without any scientific backup, without any clinical approval, okay, to show that this product would actually meet up to its expectations, okay? So the difference with me is that I actually care about your success, okay? And I want you to, to live the life of your dreams, okay? So that's what we are here for. How can you make your life better, okay? I know many of you have dreams of staying longer here on earth, seeing your kids, your grandkids become all that they want to be, eating the fruit of your label, because it's quite sad that you know, you have worked all your life. And then when it's time for you to then retire and for you to, to just rest and to just enjoy your life, you begin to have complications like diabetes, okay? So let's not cut our life short. I want to show you how you can make that happen, how you can make life enjoyable for yourself, how you can make life easy for yourself, starting with um, reversing your diabetes, okay? Now, why should you stick around? Today would mark a new day for your health and life. I would explain how your body works right now as a hypertensive patient, okay? It's not the same as a regular person. I would also explain why your drugs are not the best way, okay, for you to manage your diabetes. And we're going to discuss if diabetes has a cure, okay? And I would also expose the clinically approved and effective way to say bye-bye to your diabetes, okay? And I also have a free gift for you at the end of this session, if you stay to the very end. So in the next 80 minutes, because we spent 10 minutes already, my goal is to get you to believe, first off, you have to believe that diabetes is reversible, okay? That's my goal with you first. Number one thing I want you to believe is that this is actually reversible and that you need only two things, just two, okay? that are the key to unlocking a life that is free from diabetes. Now, what I'm going to do in this session is to simply show you my framework on how you can make that easy for yourself, okay? So that you can achieve your results, all right? Okay, so who am I and why diabetes?
Now, my background, I come from a very, um, I don't want to say disease field background, but many of my, many of my, my family members, my relatives, okay, from my parents, many of my aunts and uncles, including my parents, they, they have diseases like hypertension and diabetes as well. So it kind of runs in the family. And you know that diabetes and hypertension kind of go hand in hand, right? So that's the kind of family that I come from, like many other Nigerian families, okay? So my dad is hypertensive and my aunt, who is unfortunately late now, she suffered from type 2 diabetes, very chronic and late stage um, diabetes, okay? Now, it's happened all my life. I've wanted to be a medical doctor. It's not like it's a new thing that I found, okay? Ever since I was a little girl, that's the only thing that I know that I ever want to do with my life. Okay, and it's the only thing that gives me fulfillment. I can't do any other thing and find fulfillment in that thing. Okay, so it's all about medicine for me. All right, so when I lost my aunt and then at a point in time, my dad being hypertensive, he, he suffered a stroke, okay? And I came home from med school one day and I saw that he, he was partially paralyzed, okay? Because of his hypertension. Now... It was that experience with my dad, okay, that made me start looking for natural options, okay? And over the past few, a, a year and a half that I have been doing this, okay, thinking, mm -hmm. researching on, on ways that I can, I can help my family, okay? On reversing things like hypertension and diabetes, I have learned a lot. And I've also realized that I don't need to wait until I become a medical doctor to help my family and also to extend that helping hand to other people, okay? So when it comes to things like diabetes and hypertension, my perspective has shifted, okay? And I want to shift your perspective as well. So today you're going to unlearn quite a few things about diabetes, okay? And research has shown me that there, is, there are only two ways to reverse diabetes. There are just two things that you need to do, okay? And I will tell you what those two things are in a, in a few. But like I said, I want to shift your perspective. I want to change how you look at these diseases, okay? So let's now go straight into some of the false beliefs that you may have currently, okay? Some false, a false belief that you may have is, Diabetes has no cure and your medications are the surest and the only way for you to avoid death. Now, I would like you to please tell me in the chat, do you believe that your diabetes has no cure? And do you believe that your medications are the surest way for you to avoid dying from diabetes? I would love to hear, I would love to see your comments in the chat. Just let me know what you think. Do you believe that diabetes has no cure? And do you believe that your medications are the surest way for you to avoid dying from diabetes? Okay, Ms. Christiana says no. Anyone else? Do you think diabetes has no cure? And do you think that your medications are the surest way for you to avoid dying from diabetes? Okay, Uchenna says no as well. Okay, well, I'm very, very happy to hear this. I'm very happy that we th that we that we believe that diabetes has no cure. Okay. Now, some people, on the other hand, may not believe that diabetes has no cure. Some people may have lost hope. Okay. And some people, because they have tried so many different options, they believe that their medications are the only things that can get, you know, that can give them their lives back. Okay. But the opposite is actually the truth. Diabetes does have a cure, okay? And medications alone will not give you the kind of relief that you are looking for in your life, okay? Now, if you, you, you must have heard your doctor say this a lot, that diabetes has no cure. When you were first diagnosed and you went to the hospital, you must have asked them, is there a cure to this? You know, and they must have told you that there is no cure to it, right? So according to WebMD, there is no cure to diabetes. And when we say that we want to cure our diabetes, what we mean is that we want to be totally done with it for life, right? 
Meanwhile, if you check the dictionary for what the, what the word cure means, it means to relieve a person of the symptoms of that disease. That's what curing means. So if you say you want to cure diabetes, you are actually saying that you want to relieve yourself of the symptoms of diabetes. But when we use the word cure, we don't mean that we just want to be done with the symptoms, right? What we actually mean is that we want to be done with this forever, right? And based on medicine today, if you Google, if you ask a doctor, if you ask a, ask, um, a consultant, they will tell you simply that diabetes has no cure, okay? What they actually mean is that there is no substance. Please hear me well. There is no substance. There is no pill. There is no help, herbal drink. There is no supplements. There is nothing that you would say that you want to take today that will take diabetes out of your life forever. I want to repeat that. Far and wide, we have searched, okay? We have searched far and wide. We've gone through the length and breadth of the planet Earth. There is no substance. There is no pill. There is no herbal drink. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, that you would take into your mouth today that by taking just that thing, you are going to be done with diabetes forever. It's not possible, okay? Now, why is this? Even the people that claim to have said, okay, I, I took this and then it's cleared my diabetes forever, ask them for how long and if their diabetes did not come back, okay? I'm telling you the plain and simple truth, okay? There is nothing, no substance, be it medication, be it supplement, be it a herbal drink, be it anything that you would take that will cure and remove diabetes 100% from your body system. The reason is that diabetes is not a disease. Diabetes is simply an adaptation of life, okay? If you look at yourself as a diabetic patient, none of your body parts are malfunctioning. Nothing is broken. Your pancreas is working fine. Your liver is working fine. Your kidneys are working fine. So is your heart. So is your brain. Your blood vessels are doing what they are supposed to do. Okay. When I say that there is nothing that you can ever take in this world that would cure your diabetes 100%, it may look like, oh, you know, that's such a heartbreaking thing to say. I had hopes that maybe I could take something and it will cure my diabetes forever. But there is no such thing like that. Okay. Because diabetes is not a disease. Nothing is wrong with you, actually. Nothing is wrong with you. You have simply adapted physiolog physiologically to this state of being a diabetic patient, okay? Because of the conditions that you have given your body. Because your body is smart and everything that your body does, your body does it on purpose, okay? Your body always returns to homeostasis except something makes it otherwise, okay? So I want us now to take some examples of this physiological adaptation that I'm talking about. So if you imagine a bodybuilder putting stress on his muscles, okay? The body would respond how? By giving him more muscle so that he can withstand that amount of stress and pressure, okay? Likewise, somebody who is a couch potato, somebody who just sits around all day, eats all day, that person wouldn't get any muscle. Well, that instead, that person would be adding weight, okay? That's the body's response to that kind of lifestyle that's, you know, um, to meet the conditions that the individual is giving the human body, okay? If you have never experienced snow before in your entire life and you travel, you go to Europe, you go to America, and then it starts freezing, it's, oh, sorry, it starts snowing, best believe you are going to freeze to death, okay? Why? Because your body has not adapted to snow. Meanwhile, it is the reverse for those of them who have been living there for a while. If they come over here and the weather is so hot, they are going to react as well because maybe they haven't experienced such kinds of, of, of you know, sunny weather, okay? So the thing is, if you don't use something, your body is going to downregulate that thing. And if you use it, your body is going to upregulate. Okay. For those of us that are Christians, you must have heard the, the parable of the talents. Okay. That the master gave uh, one, one of his servants five talents. He gave the other one two. 
and he gave the other one one according to their ability. And the person that used his talents got more. The person that used two talents got two extra. And the person that didn't do anything, got that one talent that he had was taken away from him. Okay, so your everything, everything that your body does, your body does in response to something. And that's what diabetes is. It's not a disease. If it was a disease, then there would be a drug cure for it. If it was a disease, it would be like malaria and typhoid. You would just take something and bam, it's gone. But it is not, okay? Your body has adapted to this stage of life, okay? This is an intelligent response to an unbalanced environment, which is the kind of food and how much you eat. Food that we have never seen before. Carb high, high carbohydrates, majorly refined carbohydrates, sugar, processed foods, and in certain amounts that we have never experienced before, okay? So this simply means that your body as a diabetic patient does not process sugar as it is supposed to process sugar, okay? Now, I want us to go back to 20 years in time. Let's go back 20 years before you were diagnosed as a diabetic patient okay so i want to take you through this little graph right here somebody has a hand raised i hope that there is no problem mr james you raised your hand i hope that there is no issue while i wait for you to give me a response i will just continue with the presentation okay <clears throat> All right, so let's look at our graph right here. We have year one, we have year seven, we have year 15, and we have year 20. Now, the blue part represents insulin, and the red part represents our glucose, okay? Now, this is what happened 20 years before you were diagnosed. This blue um, bar right here represents a hormone, and the, the job of this hormone is to take sugar out of your blood and put it into the cell so that you can run and burn off that energy, okay? That is what enables me to even talk right now to you. That's what is enabling me to move my hands, okay? This glucose supply, okay? In my muscles, in my cells, in my fat cells, okay? So that is the work of this insulin. Take it out of my blood and push it out so that Rita will be able to talk. Rita can eat, Rita can, can walk, she can run, etc. okay? Now in year one, you are eating normally. Normal in the sense that you ate the way your parents ate, okay? You ate the way your parents taught you to eat or you have grown now so you can now make your own decisions. At this time, you are probably in your early 30s or in your, in your, in, or in your 20s. You're living your best life. You don't really care about diabetes. Even if you know about diabetes, you know, you don't, you, you, you don't think that it would ever happen to you, right? So in year one, you are just eating your regular carb meal, your Nigerian diet, your, your soft drink, your processed foods, etc. Okay, so it takes five blocks of insulin to tackle that regular eating, that regular eating pattern. Okay, five blocks of insulin. Now, in year seven, still seven years have gone by, nothing changed in your diet. You are still eating your carbohydrate, Nigerian foods, fried yam, fried plantain, your, your your french fries, your potatoes, your rice, especially rice that you are eating three times per week, okay? You take Fanta here, you take Coke here, nothing spoiled, right? You're living your best life. At that point in time, okay, because of everything that you are consuming, you don't know that internally your body's capacity to handle all those things is decreasing, okay? And Usually in year one, it would have taken you five blocks of insulin to tackle that normal way of life. Right now, it is taking you three times as much insulin to tackle that way of life. Another um, eight years go by, okay? Still the same way of life. Nothing really changes, okay? But right now, it's taking five times the amount of insulin to handle that That's way of life you see your blood sugar mm, the one that you measure it's a very very tightly controlled variable if your body allows you to have blood sugar according to the way 
you are eating and according to your way of life, you'd be dead by now. In fact, your next meal, you'll be in a coma. Your body handles blood sugar. It's such a tightly controlled variable because your body has to make sure that it is at an optimal range. If, you, if your blood glucose is too low, it's a problem. If it's too high, it's also a problem. So your body makes sure by producing high amounts of insulin, now five times the amount of insulin in year 15, just to make sure that that blood sugar is controlled. If not, you are gone, okay? Now it gets to a certain stage where no matter how much insulin your body produces, your body still cannot handle that way of life. Your body still cannot handle the way you are eating so many processed foods and high carbohydrate foods and high sugary foods, and also the amount of times that you eat. Okay, your body simply cannot handle it. And no matter the amount of insulin that is released, your blood sugar is still skyrocketed. And that is when you then need medications to still crash this blood sugar down. And at year 20, you're already a full-blown diabetic patient. So you can see that it was building before, okay? It didn't just happen just like that, okay? This is a way of life that your body adapted to. Your body adapted to. Now, each time you eat, your body releases high amounts of insulin and your cells have said they are no longer interested, okay? Now, look at you, look at this fridge, okay? This fridge is everything that stores glucose in your body, which includes your liver, this includes your fat cells, this includes, um, yes, your liver and your body fat cells, okay? That turns it into glycogen. Now, leave, just keep this freezer aside. Anytime you want to eat, look at this family here. They must have prepared this meal at the table, you know, using the contents of this fridge, right? Now, diabetes simply puts, this storage is full. That is, your liver storage is full, and so are your cells. Your cells are also full, okay? Now, the reason for this is because you never stop eating. So every time that you eat, insulin will force food, force food, force food. Now, you can imagine if you tell this family now that they should consume all the content of this fridge in one instant, they won't be able to do that because they are maxed out. By the time they finish eating this meal, there is no more space, okay, to take in another amount of food, okay? Now, remember what happens when you leave food for a very long time when it is in the fridge, it will start spoiling. And that's the same thing that happens to your organs as well. Slowly, your cells will begin to die, your immunity will begin to reduce, your, your body is no longer able to protect itself from simple things like a cut, like an injury. You can no longer handle it. So what I'm trying to explain to you now is your storage capacity is full. Okay? Your fridge is full and so is your, your, your cells that you are using for your day-to-day -day activities that will provide you with the glucose that, that you know, would enable you to write, to move, to talk, to laugh, to jump up and down. Everything is maxed out. Okay? So this is simply diabetes, simply put you have maxed out your body's capacity to process sugar, okay, and to store sugar. Now, the problem with your medications now is your medications don't do anything in trying to empty out the food. Your medications, what they would do is to force food into your belly and also into the fridge. Your body, your, your medications force your body to take in glucose by adding more insulin, so that you can put more food into the fridge and also put more food on the table. And by doing that, you have, you have to pay the, the, the side effects of your medications because you are trying to force food into something that is already full. And you're also trying to force yourself to handle glucose when your cells are already full, okay? So that's why when you take your medications, you experience some side effects because you are not doing it in the proper way. What really needs to be done is for you to let go, let go of certain foods, okay? Clean out the food on the table, first of all, okay? Don't bring in any more food on the table and then begin to empty out the fridge, not force more food into the fridge and on the table for the family to consume, 
okay? And in doing so, you are reducing your quality of life and it causes the death of your organs, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. Your medications help you a, a lot. They really, really do, okay? Because if you don't take glucose out of your blood, remember I said that if your body does not control this blood glucose, by your next meal, you are going to be dead, okay? So your medications do a good job in getting that sugar out of your blood, but then they force it into the fridge and they force it on the table, okay? But by getting that sugar out of your blood, it helps to prevent you from things like kidney failure, microvessel disease, blindness, you getting amputated, neuropathy, okay? But then getting the sugar out of the blood is not the issue, but where are you going to keep the sugar? The fridge is full, the table is full. So where is the sugar going to? Okay, and this is the problem with our medications. It does not focus on that high level of insulin that we have produced. And this high level of insulin, the fact that your body is unable to take in more glucose, the fact that your body is the, the fact that your body doesn't have any more space on the fridge or and also on the table causes a lot of problems for you. And number one being metabolic syndrome. That's the reason why you are unable to lose your belly fat. That's the reason why you are obese. That's the reason why diabetic patients who suffer heart disease, who have high blood pressure, who suffer stroke, who suffer dementia, all these things because there is no space in the fridge and there is no space on the table either. And your medications are just forcing it in. So if you don't treat the problem from the root cause, you would experience this like metabolic syndrome. And that is what would event, that's what eventually kills many people. There are so many people in our world today that have this metabolic syndrome and they don't even know it. And this is what prevents people from losing weight. This is what keeps people, you know, in a hungry state all the time and in a thirsty state as well. Okay. <clears throat> now, another false belief that we may have is. Even though I wanted to help myself through these lifestyle practices you are talking about, okay, Rita, I understand that my lifestyle practice, my my lifestyle practices are important. But even if I want to help myself, the only thing I'm advised I am advised to do is to cut down on foods and buy many products online that don't work. I am tired. It is not working out. I want to ask how many people are in this category. You know that your lifestyle practices are important, but the only thing that you are advised to do as a diabetic patient, lifestyle-wise, is that you have to cut, 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 cut down on certain foods, and you also have to get certain products, and when you use them, they don't work for you. I want to know how many of you are in this category. Kindly let me know using the chat. Is there anyone in this category? So you understand that your lifestyle practices are important, but all you are advised to do when it comes to your lifestyle practices is that you have to cut down on many foods, okay? And that you have to get certain products, okay? But then when you use those products, they don't work for you and it makes you get tired, okay? That things are not working out for you. You don't eat rice, you don't eat ever, you don't eat yam, you don't eat, you make all these sacrifices and still, you know, you are still where you are. I want to hear from you. Is anyone in this category? Do you feel like this is where you are right now? Please let me know. Okay, Lisha says yes. All right, now let me tell you the secret to, to be done with this, okay? For you to undo diabetes naturally, diabetes is simply too much sugar, not just in your blood, but in your entire body. And in order for you to undo it, what you have to do is simply two things. You have to observe a ketogenic diet and you also have to practice intermittent fasting, okay? Ketogenic diet simply means stop putting sugar in, okay? Let's stop putting sugar in. And intermittent fasting means let us burn the sugar that, is, that we have stored already. It's just like the fridge and the table uh, analysis that I gave to you, okay? Let's stop putting too, let's stop putting sugar, let's stop bringing food in 
when we know that we have food in the fridge and we know that we have food on the table. Okay? And let us practice intermittent fasting that will burn out those foods that we already have stored and on the table as well. Okay? So this, this is simply how you can undo the, the adaptation of diabetes. And there are four secrets to a perfect diabetic meal. You need a food that is low carb, low fructose, also has a low glycemic index and high healthy fats. Now you may ask why fats? Of the three macronutrients, you have your carbohydrates, protein and fats. This is primary school, I'm taking you back to now, okay? Three dietary macronutrients, your carbohydrates, your protein and your fats. Carbohydrates and protein may stimulate insulin. Carbohydrates stimulate a lot of insulin actually. Protein may be a little, but fat the least, okay? So when we say a perfect diabetic meal, we mean high fat and then low carb. And that is simply what the ketogenic diet is, okay? You are consuming high healthy fats, okay? And very, very low carbohydrates. Now this will change the way your body stores and uses energy. Instead of your body to be storing all this blood sugar, blood sugar, blood sugar, blood sugar, blood sugar, you will you may wish that you had something else that you can comp that you can substitute for that blood sugar. That is your healthy fats. If you have ever thought about that, that you are tired of hearing the word blood sugar, and you are thinking, is there something else that I can substitute this sugar? It's your high healthy fats. Okay. So by making use of fats, by consuming high fats, your body would have no choice than to make use of high fats, okay, of healthy fats, which would not stimulate insulin, okay? And it would also not give you that amount of sugar that you get from your carbohydrate foods, thereby overall reducing your blood sugar and bringing down that insulin as well, okay? So that's, that's the benefit of a ketogenic diet, to switch your energy, your energy source from, from carbohydrates to fats, to help you manage your blood glucose, to reduce the chances of metabolic syndrome, which is what your drugs cannot do for you. It is only your lifestyle practices that can help you battle the effects of insulin resistance. If there was a drug that can help you with insulin resistance, we would say today that diabetes has no cure. By now, you would have something that you would you would take in and would cure and would cure your diabetes forever for you. And you won't even need to be in this session with me right now. There is nothing that can help you with that, okay? Because it's a physiological adaptation. You seem you give your body the condition that puts it in that way, okay? So, the benefits of a ketogenic diet would help you to reverse that insulin resistance help you get rid of the chances of you suffering a kidney disease, a liver disease, metabolic syndrome, having stroke, high blood pressure. We say that diabetes, that, that, that diabetes and high blood pressure go hand in hand. Why? Because of metabolic syndrome. Okay? So those are, those are the benefits of a ketogenic diet. Okay? Now, some of you may ask, you are saying that I should eat low carbohydrates, right? But I am already cutting foods. I am already cutting down foods. I'm already very, very low on my carbohydrates. Okay? I don't eat rice. I don't eat yam. I don't eat many things. How come I am not recovering? Have you ever asked yourself, or maybe as I was talking, you may have asked yourself this question. But I am already low on my carbohydrate foods. I am already low on my fried foods. How come I am not recovering? Now, the thing is, you just cutting down foods without getting the nutritional equivalent is simply cheating yourself. You need to practice what we call a healthy ketogenic diet. If you tell somebody, don't eat meat, they would, they would <laughs> when I tell my clients, don't eat meat, somebody responded to me. But meat has some benef some some benefits to, to, to the human body as well. And they are right. Meat has some benefits to the human body as well. So if I tell you don't cut down meat, you are thinking about all the benefits you could have gotten from meat. So the thing is, when you want to practice a ketogenic diet, instead of just cutting down, cutting down, cutting down foods, how about you increase 
your protein and your fat foods. Now, there are certain minerals and vitamins. You may want to screenshot this slide. There are certain vitamins and minerals that would help you battle diabetes. Certain ones. Now, your, your vitamins and minerals, some are, they complement each other. So I won't really say that some are more important than the other. But when it comes to the issue of blood sugar, mm, there are certain vitamins and minerals that must be in your diet. And the, it's, it hurts to hear that many of these um, vitamins and minerals, like your zinc, vitamin D, your chromium, potassium, magnesium, and your B vitamins, your B1, B2, B6, B12, okay? Some of these things, you, you get them from those carbohydrate foods that you are cutting down on. And that's why you it seems like you're not getting any results because as you cut down on those foods, you are reducing your chances of getting these vitamins and minerals in. Okay? So that's, that's the reason why it may seem like you are not recovering. All right? So instead of you to miss out, okay? Instead of you to miss out, yes, you need to lower your carbs because of the glycemic index of your carbohydrate foods. But instead of, instead of just doing that, increase your protein and your fats. Substitute those minerals and vitamins with your protein and your fats. Okay? Now, somebody somebody's already asking me, you know, what are, what are some of these foods that are high in fats, okay, that, and that are high in protein? Now, you may want to also screenshot this slide as well, okay? At number 10, you have your berries, okay? Your grapefruits, your raspberries, your blackberries, your strawberries, okay? At number 10. Then number nine, you have your leafy vegetables. Any vegetable that is in the leaf form, your ugu leaves, your lettuce, your spinach, okay? your leafy vegetables. Then you have your non-starchy vegetables like your broccoli, your celery. Then you have your healthy fats like your olive oil, your coconut oil, your palm oil as well, okay? You have olives, you have avocado. Then you have your nuts like your, your, your wild nuts, your macadamia nuts, your seeds, chickpeas, chia seeds, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, okay? You have your eggs and your dairy. Please don't remove the yolk from your eggs, okay? That egg yolk does not increase your cholesterol in any way whatsoever, okay? Because it's a common misconception that your egg yolks will increase your cholesterol. It's not true. Of all things that could increase your cholesterol, it is common egg. Of all the things that you should, you should, you, you should not consume and that could be harmful to you, it is egg. Egg is like nature's multivitamin to you. So please consume your full entire eggs. Okay? And lastly, we have your meat, your fish, your poultry organs. Okay? Now, you're just observing a low carbohydrate, high fats. Does not, it will decrease the incoming load, but it doesn't burn off um, the food that you have stored, the glucose that you have stored. So in order for you to burn it off, what you need to then practice is intermittent fasting. Now, when your children, when you, have, when you, when you go out with your kids and you know, they pass a fast food restaurant, okay? And they tell you, mommy, mommy, daddy, daddy, buy KFC for me. Mommy, buy ice cream for me. What do you tell them as a, as a typical Nigerian mom and dad? Like my parents told me, there is rice at home. <laughs> there is food in the house. Okay. Now it's the same with you, except you don't want, except you just want to do Christmas for your kids and just, you know, make them happy. It's the same with you as well. Why do you keep eating when your fridge and the table is full? Why do you keep consuming food when you have enough in your storage and also ready for you to go right now, right now. The reason we are suffering from diabetes today, one of the key reasons is that we don't fast enough and we eat too much. Our ancestors did not have such issues because they fasted well. Right now, the only, the only reason somebody is going to fast in today's world is because of your religious purposes. We started having problems when 
the manner at which we eat and the frequency of what we eat increased. And then the way we eat, the manner at which we eat, the kind of foods we eat, we would then pass on those patterns to our children. And then they, are, they would pass on their, these patterns to their own kids as well. And then we, we begin to say that things like high blood pressure and diabetes runs in the family. It doesn't run in your family. It's poor eating and lifestyle habits that run in your family. And it may shock you to know that intermittent fasting actually carries the bulk of the work when it comes to getting rid of diabetes, when it comes to reversing diabetes. It takes up to 60% of your diabetes away, intermittent fasting. Okay? And I know now, as I am talking, it may be ringing in your head. I don't know how to fast though, because diabetes makes me hungry. Now, let me tell you one thing about hunger. Mm -hmm. Hunger begins in your mind. Hunger begins in your mind. You may think that it's, it's only when you've eaten and then, and then your stomach is empty. It takes hours for your body to digest food and for you to completely max out that is for you to, to totally expend all of the glucose and energy that you got from that plate of food you just ate. Hours, okay? But we think that, okay, any slight feeling of hunger that we, that we experience, we, we say it as, oh, the food in my, in my stomach is, is gone, okay? And there is no, there is, there is no food again in my, in my entire human body, okay? That's not true. Common stimuli enable us to experience these feelings of hunger. For instance, what's the first or second thing you do when you come back home from work? <clears throat> you ask your wife to, 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 to prepare you food, right? Or you ask your kids to prepare food for you. When you come back from work, it's majorly the first thing that you do is to eat. Now, if it so happens that there is a time when you come back from work and you don't eat, let's say throughout that night's period and you don't eat food, you will not be happy. You won't be happy. You will see it as something is wrong somewhere. Uh-oh, somebody says there's no volume. Is it true? I hope that you have been hearing me. Please confirm. I really, really hope that you have been hearing me all this while. Can you hear me? Someone says there's no volume, that he's not getting any audio. Wow. Wow. Can you please let me know using the chat? Can you hear me? Are we following? Okay, okay, okay. Lisha says, okay. All right. So it's probably his audio. Okay. So I was explaining that your, your hunger starts from your mind. Okay. Usually when I'm working on my laptop, I like to eat. I like to eat um, snacks. Any time that it so happens that I don't have snack around my table, even if I just ate two hours ago, it would, I would start feeling like I am hungry. Is it not shocking for us that you eat at night time and you don't eat again for the next 10 hours and you wake up in the morning, the first thing on your mind is no food, okay? You, take, you go about one to two hours before eating your breakfast, okay? Except if um, it's your kids and, you know, they have to eat before they, they, they leave for school, you know, things like that. But is it not surprising that from your night time, from your dinner time, over 10 hours from your dinner, up until when you have your breakfast, you are not hungry? Because are you thinking about eating in your sleep? You are not. It's not a common stimuli for hunger. Okay? But between breakfast and lunch, you are hungry. When it's not even up to 10 hours between the two. Why? Because that's the, that's the way your mind operates. That's the way you have always operated. Okay? Another thing again with hunger is your time. So maybe when it's, maybe you always eat dinner at 8 a.m. If any day 8 o'clock should pass, okay? It would look like let heaven and earth fall down because you have not eaten at that time. You would have these extreme feelings of hunger because the time that you have associated with hunger has reached, okay? 
And the funny thing about your body is that your body knows. Your body knows. So when that eight o'clock reaches, okay, your body will begin to produce hormones that would then digest food. And then it would look like, oh, your, your, your stomach is grumbling at that time. Okay. And I want to also tell you now that diabetes is also a common stimuli. It's a common stimuli. Like some people, when they tell you, you have to fast to bring down your blood sugar, that is one of the ways for you to totally reverse your diabetes. You would say, no, I can't do it. I'm a diabetic patient. Diabetes makes me hungry. Diabetes makes me thirsty. This is that. You, it's a common stimuli for you. It's a pair for you to associate diabetes and food. So hunger actually begins in your mind. So with fasting, my best advice to you is to take it slow. Okay? That's how you can conquer those feelings of hunger. Now, I want you to meet Dr. Jason Fong. He's a diabetologist. Some of you may know him, okay? And this is a testimonial from one of his patients. I just want to prove to you that this keto and fasting is the answer to your problem. Simply put, Elena, 63, was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes three years before he met her. She also had a history of hypertension, high cholesterol, and obesity, the classic manifestations of metabolic syndrome. You see, despite the fact that she's on drugs, her drugs did not prevent her from high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and obesity. Okay? And she also had fatty liver damage. She was taking metformin for diabetes, as well as her medications to then lower her cholesterol and BP. Okay? Her A1C was 6.2. When Elena joined his program, he discussed low-carb, high-fat diets, okay? That's a keto diet. And she began a fasting regimen of 36 hours, three times a week. Having long been told to eat frequent small meals throughout the day, fasting required a new mindset. And within two weeks of this keto and fasting, she was able to stop her diabetic medications. One year later, she stopped taking her BP drugs and her blood pressure normalized and her A1C was 5.2. Today, Elena is no longer considered diabetic. The blood markers that indicated liver, liver damage has completely normalized, meaning that she no longer has that fatty liver that caused chronic liver damage. And she also lost weight and completely reversed her metabolic syndrome. This is just to prove to you that this is the answer to your problem, okay? And I know some of us may also have another false belief. You know, I cannot help myself. I don't know how to do this keto you're talking about, okay? I don't know how to practice intermittent fasting. Rita, even the list that you have given us that are low-carb foods, I don't see them as indigenous foods. I mean, where am I going to get grapefruits from? Where am I going to get blueberries from? <laughs> where am I going to get olives from? And also, even if I wanted to eat healthy, my work would not allow it. I have five kids, you know, I'm working in nine to five. Whatever objections that you may have, I know that you, you would have these objections currently in your mind right now, okay? And you are actually right. So the solution to that is you need to get a good keto and fasting meal plan, an indigenous one if you can, okay? get a really, really good keto and fasting meal plan. And remember I said that there are certain vitamins and minerals, okay? There are certain vitamins and minerals that are typical to you as a diabetic patient and to help your recovery. So if for anything you miss out as you are eating a low carb food, and if for some reason you don't know where you, where you can get avocado from, okay? You just simply, you can't do without those, those minerals and vitamins I listed for you before. If for any reason you know that you would not be able to do it, your lifestyle, your work, your children, whatever it is, your age, you cannot go to the market, whatever it is, if you know that you would not be able to meet it, get a simple multivitamin to bridge the gap for you. Because you need those things, okay? They are inescapable, all right? Now, I also have another short um, free meal plan for you here for sun from Sunday to Saturday, okay? So here, you also have your 30-hour fasting guide. So you can take a screenshot of this 
look at it at your own time. Okay, look at it at your own time and then see how you can, you know, use this as a guide into starting your own keto and intermittent fasting journey. All right. And also the Journal of Food and Nutrition Research in 2017, in 2017 said that they demonstrated that the supplementation of astaxanthin, omega-3 and multivitamin improved glucose metabolism and reduced insulin resistance in overweight and obese individuals. So this is a journal of food and nutrition research proving to you, okay, that certain vitamins and minerals are essential to you as a diabetic patient because your problem is glucose metabolism. That's your problem and insulin resistance, okay? So this journal of food and nutrition research is now showing you that they have demonstrated that if for any reason you know that you cannot stick to your diet and you don't want to miss out on your recovery, supplementing it is a better idea, okay? Now, I want to ask you a question. If you follow what I shared with you in Secrets 1, really, really, really understand what you are battling with so that you can stick to your treatment in the long term. And secret two, the cure is not just by cutting down foods or manner of, of carbs, but you need to replace them. And you don't just need to replace them. You need to replace them with foods that are essential to your glucose metabolism. That's the key. And the cure also is not in a product. The cure is in you. It's in you. It is in you, in you. Products would simply help to assist you, accelerate your results, grant you that, you know, push you three steps ahead. Okay? Push you three steps ahead. It's, it's just like your guardian angel, for instance. Okay? Maybe knowing that you may fall on the staircase, he can protect you. Okay? If you believe in guardian angels anyway. All right? It's just like a baby. Okay? Not knowing how to walk, needing, needing that support. That's simply what they would help you to do, okay? But that's not the cure. The cure is in you. And the cure is you practicing a low-carb, high-fat diet in addition to intermittent fasting. You, I promise you, you cannot reverse your diabetes without fasting. It's not possible. Maybe that's the answer to, maybe that's the answer to, to, to why many of you are not, you know, off your diabetic states because you don't fast. The only time you fast in an entire year is the January period where you are doing uh, 28 days fasting and prayer for the new year, okay? Or during Lenten season, when it's, when it's time for, you know, Lent, that's the only time you fast. Aside that you don't fast anymore. It is key to reversing your diabetes, okay? And then secret three, if you don't know how to practice keto and if you don't know how to fast effectively, for your health, then get an indigenous keto meal plan, okay? And I would also recommend a fasting guide to, if you can get one, get one, okay? Make sure that it is indigenous so that you don't start complaining, I can't find this food here, I can't find this food here. It's not in season, it's not in season, okay? And if for any reason you know that your age, your work, your environment, your time, your children, whatever it is, would cause you from not, from, from, from getting those things that you must get from your food as a diabetic patient, get it all in a vitamin and be done with it and move on with your life, okay? Usually, it takes six months to a year to reverse diabetes. So try it this year, okay? So if you follow everything I've shared with you in this class today, do you think that you would be successful at reversing your diabetes properly without having to go through the adverse side effects of depending on medications. I want to hear from you in the chat. Please let me know. If you follow everything that I have shared with you in this session today, do you think that you would be successful at reversing your diabetes.
Okay, Lisha says, yes, I think so. Okay, anyone else? Neka says, yes. Okay, anyone else? Is it only Neka and... Okay, okay. Well, I'm happy because it shows that I have I have broken down some of some false beliefs today. <laughs> and it tells me that, yes, we are making progress. Okay? The reason for this webinar is you have to believe it. If not, you won't stick to it. That's the reason people don't stick to strict diets because they don't understand what is going on in their body. Okay? All right. But I'm very happy to hear that, you know, you believe so. Okay. So how many of us are happy with this class so far? Are you happy that you now have a better understanding of diabetes, what it is? Are you happy that you now know, okay, this is what my drugs do when I take my medications? Oh, so this is what I need to do to reverse diabetes. Okay, this is the kind of diet I should take. Oh, I do know that fasting is important. So I can even fast. I don't need to say that diabetes would make me hungry all the time. You know, please give me feedback. Are you happy? Are you happy with this session? that we have had today. Are you happy with all of the information I've shared with you? Please let me know. Okay, Lisha says she's happy. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Anyone else, are you happy with the session so far? Okay. And is anyone overwhelmed? Does anyone feel like this is too much information? And and it's too much for you to get in. Does anyone feel like that? That I should have broken this down into two sessions. <laughs> is anyone overwhelmed with the information you have learned today? Okay, I'm glad that no one is overwhelmed. Okay, if you are, just let me know in the chat. Okay, so because of time, I would keep going. <laughs> okay, Lisha, you are overwhelmed and happy at the same time, but you said it's worth your time. Okay, well, I'm glad that it's worth the time. Okay, the hour plus that we have spent together. All right. Now, it is impossible for me to show you everything that you need to get results in a 90-minute presentation, but I have done my best, and you can also testify that I have done my best, okay, in trying to explain these things to you, to break down these false beliefs, and also to help you, to help you believe that the cure is in you, the reversal is in you, okay? Products can only help to assist you to accelerate your results. But really, the key to reversing diabetes, if you, if you have ever thought about what is even the cure to diabetes, if you have ever thought about that, okay, the cure is practicing keto and intermittent fasting, okay? All right, so I can't cover as much as I would love to in a 19 minutes presentation, but I want to spend the next, the remaining 27 minutes we have to go over a very special offer I have created to help you achieve your goal of reversing diabetes. But I can only move on with your permission. Okay? So please let me know in the chat. Is it okay if I spend the remaining time we have going over a very special offer I have created to help you achieve your goal? Please let me know. If you don't give me this permission, I cannot move on with this session and we can simply end it here because I have given you quite a few things you can run with, okay? So please let me know. If I don't see any comments in the chat, then I will simply take it as a no and we can end the session right here, okay? So I will be waiting for your, for your comments, okay?
Okay. Okay. I see your comments. And for you to have responded, it means that you can actually hear me. So, Neka, I think the problem is from your end. Okay. So, this is what I have for you. Remember I said, get a keto meal plan and, a, and an intermittent fasting guide. Okay. Now, this is the guide I have for you. A one-month meal plan plus your intermittent fasting guide. Your meal plan is a keto diet plan. Okay. So a low carb, high fat food that is indigenous, okay? So this plan and intermittent fasting is for Nigerians. Anyone who is not familiar with the Nigerian diet would not be able to make use of this meal plan. So I created this just for you here in Nigeria, okay? And if for any reason you are unable to meet up, okay? Or you think that you'll be able to meet up, but you need that extra push, okay? If I say that it takes you six to 12 months to, to reverse your diabetes and you want to get it done in less time, you want that extra push, you want that extra, you know, to accelerate your results, then you can have a multivitamin and mineral in just one tab that contains all the vitamins and minerals I have I, 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 um, I listed out for you, okay? Your zinc, your B vitamins, your chromium, your potassium, your magnesium, okay? So you have everything together for you in one, just one capsule so that you don't have to start taking zinc here, magnesium here, calcium here, potassium here, you know, and then at the end of the day, you find out that you are, you are taking about six, seven um, vitamins or minerals, okay? So you just have everything that you need, vitamin and mineral wise in one capsule, and then you have your meal plan and your intermittent fasting guide, Okay. So I put these two together because I don't want you to neglect your diet. And I also don't want you to have been able to speed up your results, but then you won't have something to help you speed up your results. Okay. All right. So with these two together, the common goal is for us to reverse our diabetes. Okay. And eventually, just like Elena, we can say goodbye to our side effects of medications. Okay and also to feel good about our health and life. Spent less on hospital bills, falling sick all the time, not being able to recover from injury, you living in fear, you know, the fear that comes with you being a diabetic patient, that you may have your leg cut off, you may suffer a kidney disease, or you may suffer a stroke, your BP is so high, etc. Okay, let's get rid of all those fears. Okay, and you will also be able to get down um, get rid of your insulin resistance and poor health that comes with, you know, just diabetes and its medications. Okay. So like I said, when you start cutting down on certain foods, you would begin to lose the nutrients of those foods. Okay. And you begin to have issues like a blurry vision. Your vitamin A would help you with that blurry vision. Okay. Some of you have um, tingling hands and feet. Your hands are numb. Your feet is numb. Okay, your B vitamins will be able to tackle that for you. Okay, some of you feel very tired all the time as a diabetic patient. Your iron, your folate will be able to help you with that. So some of the things that you struggle with, okay, they are simply nutritional deficiencies. And that's why this multivitamin I, 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 I have put here for you is so important so that your body can focus on what it needs to focus on. And you externally, you would feel okay. Okay, you won't be worrying, oh, my hands are tingling, my head is my, I, I am having headache, I am urinating a lot, I'm thirsty all the time. Let's focus on more important things in life, okay, instead of just diabetes and allow your body with the meal plan and your intermittent fasting, allow your body do its work, okay? So that's why it's important that you have these two things together, okay? Now, with these two things, the problem of diabetes and its struggles is solved for you because this is a clinically approved way, okay? This is a clinically approved way for you to reverse your diabetes, okay? And diabetes, sadly, is very, very poorly diagnosed in Nigeria, okay? Somebody can have a very high blood sugar and immediately they'll pronounce you a diabetic patient, okay? Meanwhile, anything could have caused that blood sugar to go high. So many people today are on medications they should not even be on, okay? And now you now know that diabetes is not something that you just develop in one day, okay? And also, it's not just about blood sugar. 
we have a deeper problem of insulin, okay, that is so high, okay, very, very high than it should be, okay? So with these two things together, you can get your body back to normal, okay? And get off that state, get off that adaptive state of being a diabetic patient, okay? So the meal plan and the vitamin would save you time thinking about what you should eat, how should you eat, how should I structure my meals? Oh, should I fast today? Should I not fast tomorrow? Oh, I cannot fast. Oh, I'm going to break my routine. All these things, they would help you get rid of them, okay? And also save money on trial and error, okay? And help you stick with the clinically approved and natural way, okay? So let's take some reviews, shall we? Let's take some reviews of, um, of people who have used this multivitamin, okay? So Dr. Ada says, I ordered two packs for a patient with prediabetes accompanied with bad eyesight, which is a problem, okay? Blurry vision and blindness is one of the things, you know, you can experience from being a diabetic patient. So while still on the first pack, the blood sugar went from 21 to 4. His blurry vision, which was also as a result of high blood sugar, got back to normal. I also placed him, now this is important, just look at this. I also placed him on a low carb diet with intermittent fasting, which is what I have for you in your meal plan. So you can't really do without them, okay? This multivitamin would simply help to speed up your results, okay? Like she goes on to say, like she goes on to say, it also helps him, you know, with, with his blood sugar going down from 21 to four and also his blurry vision. Okay, and his blood sugar went down to normal. All right, so it would help you to speed up your results. Okay, and she said another patient took it for erectile dysfunction and it got his activity back on track. Now, this multivitamin would not just help you with diabetes or, you know, supporting your, your diabetes recovery, but it would also help you with other things you may be struggling with. For instance, joint pain, not being able to sleep well, you know, that are deficiencies of nutrients, okay? So that's also a benefit, an additional benefit that you get whilst you are trying to recover from your diabetes, okay? So I also want us to listen to this man. Good morning, how are you doing? Can you hear him? Please let me know in the chat. Can you hear him? So... We got to notice that since you started taking wellness by or Can you hear him, please? Let me know. Okay, okay. Claim that uh, wellness by oriflame for men, that you have seen a lot of changes on your body system. Can we know the issue that you are passing through before you started taking wellness by oriflame for men? You're welcome. Thank you, sir. I I didn't know about this Oriflame wellness pack for men. I didn't know it was about that. Okay. So how did you get to know about the products? I was sick for some couple of months back. I was in the hospital for like one year or six months. I'm an amputee. I lost my right leg to diabetic issue. When I come back from hospital, I don't know how my wife came across the wellness product and had that to help me. My immune system. But the Putin giving me strength to operate as one who is learning on how to use the process that I'm using now. That we shall need. So she, because she wanted me to go into using the products, she had to register as. A member. A member as one of the marketers or a friend of. 
So, uh, when you start to write product, uh, get the product. Okay, the product for me at any time I need it. Mm -hmm. The same product I have been using it. I really saw the great improvement in my system. Was besides the amputation, I had some other problems. Like I had a problem on my neck and this right arm I had a spinal problem that affected my neck and my shoulder. I think it up the giant biscuit balls on my shoulder. Mm. But I couldn't raise the right hand. I was not using it to do anything again. It was a difficult problem for me. It was very difficult for me to hold your pants. Hold my palm from a fist like this. I was not even writing again with my right hand. It was a serious problem for me to sign my signature again with the right But since I began to use the wellness the, pack, the wellness pack, I got some level of relief. And I can now fool No <laughs> I've done this. She did a video recording of dancing step the other day yes. that she has used to uh, help so it was very difficult for me to hold your pants hold my palm from a fist like this i was not even writing again with my right hand it was a serious problem for me to sign my signature again with the right hand. but since i began to use the Wellness back. The wellness back. I got some level of relief. And I can now fold my arms. I can hold things, things and hold it friendly. Okay. And I can raise my hand. I just write and can sign my. <laughs> my wife. I've done this. She did a video recording of the dancing step the other day. Yes. That she has used to uh, help the Oriflam company in marketing their product. So when they look at it, see an amputated man, the man with one a single limb. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Dancing. Okay, you can now dance with your legs. With my leg, I walk, I move around. I don't even use walking stick again. Try. Grab my, grab my vehicle myself. Nobody yeah. Wow. Again. Yeah, it's true. I grab my, my vehicle around. Nobody yeah. drives me again. Okay. okay. I don't even have okay. any driver I talk to me again. You know, I have this claim that um, has been done with a stroke for some time now. To the point that he lost his speech. They've treated him. He was he has responded positively to treatment. He can walk, but he can't talk. So I decided to give to recommend the wellness for men to him, to the man who is treating him, to allow us use this supplement. Graciously, the man agreed. 
So we ordered for the wellness product for men. My dear. Even me, I was shocked. Two weeks into the treatment, <laughs> the man started talking. He's talking now as I speak. His speech is not clear, as it used to be. Then he called my name. He was talking, he was so excited that he's getting better. They've already told me that now this one is finishing, they'll buy another one. You see, one thing I want to point out here is if this man did not care have his multivitamin, he would still be able to regain his speech. Okay. But the idea behind it is first, for recovery, your body may need help. And that's where the vitamin comes in. Okay. Because as a diabetic, by cutting down these foods, like I've said, you are cutting down nutrients as well, okay? When you have those nutrients, it speeds up everything, okay, in your body, all right? So that's simply the work of the vitamin and mineral to help you with those key things that you would need as a diabetic patient. And it would also save you the trouble of going through certain things that you can avoid, okay? So let's not assume that, okay, this is now what would then cure our whole diabetes, no. That's not the point of it. You need this if you want to simply accelerate your results and go the extra mile, okay? But aside that, your meal plan and your intermittent fasting guide is very, very key to reversing diabetes, okay? I want us to know I that. My Bible. Okay, so let us now, I'm, I'm simply showing you instances of people who have suffered from some of the key effects of diabetes and how this vitamin was able to help them overcome those effects okay however this is simply an ex an, an accelerator for you okay your major 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 focus lies in keto and intermittent fasting and if for any reason you miss out on keto and you lose out certain nutrients this can then help you fill up the gap Okay, so that you don't complain that because of your age, because of your family, etc., you were unable to follow your plan very well. Okay, so I hope that we get the idea. Just within five days of taking Oriflame Wellness, this is unimaginable. Wow, I'm so grateful to Jehovah for the gift of Oriflame Wellness. I advise everyone, please, oh. If you are currently using glasses, I'm not saying you should throw your glasses away, but all I'm seeing now is like a miracle. With this product that I just started using, now I can read the... the... Okay, let's move on. This person says, I think it's a detoxifier because I felt it remove excess sugar from my body. I feel light and healthy. And Oreolua says, my customer who has diabetes got it and the changes she has been noticing is mind-blowing. I recommend, okay? Now I know you may be thinking, how, how are you sure that this would work for you? But I would say that we have already gone through this. If you believe that your keto and fasting would help you recover from diabetes, this is simply an accelerator for you, okay? And you now know the content of the pack, okay? It's not like there, there are ingredients in there that you do not know of, okay? And an essential um, reason that this is different from other multivitamins out there is because of the purity, okay? If you take this vitamin to an industrial chemist, they will tell you how pure it is, okay? There are some levels to purity, and that's why people complain that supplements don't work for them. The, the purer your products, the more closer it is to nature, the more effective it gets, okay? That's one of the key reasons Okay, that I, I I really, really recommend these products. The purity is amazing. Okay. And all the vitamins and minerals gotten there are solely sourced from plants. Okay. Now I want to introduce you to Dr. Sten. He says the insulin this the deadliest disease is insulin resistance because it kills people three times faster than even cancer. Now, sadly, many people are tied to their medications without realizing that this deadly disease comes from poor eating and lifestyle choices of over 20 years. If man can simply learn to eat right and supplement the complete nutrients they are unable to get from food due to season, location, they can transform their whole health. Eating right is the best medicine for all 
there would be no need for daily medications for diseases such as hypertension and diabetes if man simply learned to eat right for himself. Okay, so I have already done my research to understand why people don't see results from products that they buy, okay, or from meal plans that they get. It took me a lot of time, effort, and money to find a good company that produces these products naturally and also to put together a keto and intermittent fasting guide for you so that you can have everything at your fingertips and you wouldn't have to worry okay, about lacking in any parts when it comes to reversing diabetes. Okay, so your one month meal plan is 16,000. Your vitamin, you have a 60 day supply, which is a two month supply at 36,990. And you have your nationwide delivery fee at 6,600. So the total value of everything you are getting is 59,590. Now, I have had two choices. We can either go as cheap as possible and try to sell as many meal plants and vitamins as possible, or I can demand a higher investment from you on your end and make sure that you get results on your, on your journey, okay? So despite the fact that this combined is 59,590, um, we are giving you a free gift a free gift. Remember I said I have a free gift for you at the end of this session, right? So this is my free gift for you, okay? This is my free gift for you. A free nationwide delivery on your supplement. So we are removing that delivery fee, okay? That is for those of you who want to get the meal plants, the, um, for those of you that want to get the, the vitamin to help you with your results, you have a free nationwide delivery, okay? And you have a 50% discount on your meal plan and your intermittent fasting guide, okay? So the, the vitamin with your delivery fee would have been 43,590. Now you have it at 36,990, okay? And your 50% discount, you have it now at 8,000, okay? So I hope that this helps. So right now you can ask me all questions you wish to ask. While I would take the questions I have on the screen, commonly asked questions, mm -hmm. and then you can ask me any questions that you have, okay, in mm -hmm. the chats. Okay? So part of the questions is, is this a drug? The simple answer is no. This is a nutritional dietary supplement, okay? And your meal plan is simply a meal plan, okay? Does this have any side effects? No, there are no side effects. Can a pregnant or breastfeeding lady take it? I would not recommend, okay? How long will I take the vitamin? You have a 60-day supply, so you will take it for two months, okay? How long does delivery take? Delivery can take anywhere from three to five working days, okay? Depending on your, lo your location, all right? And lastly, payment options. How do I make it? How do I make an order? If I want to order the, the meal plan, if I want to order the vitamin, how do I make an order? Now your vitamin, you have to pay for it before delivery. Now I understand that the country is in a mess and many people do not trust easily. So how are you sure that if you make payments for your products, you will get it, okay? Now I want to stop sharing this Canva slide. Let's go into my WhatsApp slide, okay? So please let me know if you can see my WhatsApp slide. All right. Can you see my screen? Are you on my WhatsApp live? Please let me know it's in the chats. I want to show you people, some of my clients that have gotten their products successfully. Okay. Please let me know. Can you see my WhatsApp? Can you see my WhatsApp, please? Okay, okay. All right, so let's see Vivian Onogun. She's one of my regular clients. Okay, 
So you can see here, I asked her, Ma, did you receive your order yesterday? And she said, yes. Now let's go to another client of mine, Mr. George. And he said, after he placed his order, just got my bonus pack now, thanks, okay? So those are just um, live, um, just a live showcase of some of my customers who have gotten their products successfully, okay? So the only payment option we have is payments before delivery. All right, and Miss Elizabeth says, thank you, Rita. My package was delivered um, yesterday. I made payments on Monday. That was on Wednesday, okay? And Sister Clementina says, meanwhile, I received the package yesterday from DHL Dispatch, okay? He brought it right into my office and she commended the rider for doing so, okay? So these are just a few of my clients that have, purchased and gotten their products successfully, okay? So just a reminder, your free gifts, your vitamin, you have a free delivery, okay? And your meal plan, you have a 50% discount, all right? Now, I should let you know that this is not forever, okay? Your free delivery and your and your 50% discount is not forever. So you, this discount lasts, this discount lasts, only to the 31st of this month. So you don't have time. You have 29th, 30th, and 31st, only three days, okay, to make an order. All right, so your meal plan remains at 50% discount, 8,000, and your multivitamin remains at free delivery. So you cannot pay for your delivery fee. You can only pay for your product only, and I would handle your delivery, okay? So you can get that at 36,990. If you are getting the both of them, that means you would have to pay $44,990, all right? Okay, so any questions? Please ask me your questions. And if there are no questions, we are done with this live session. Thank you for joining me live. Please ask me your questions. And if there are no questions, we are done, okay? I would wait here five minutes. If there are no questions, we can leave, okay? We are done. Thank you so much for joining me live today. I appreciate your presence, okay? So if you have questions, you may ask me. And if there are no questions, you can leave the class, okay? Diabetes is one of the things that is making the person to lose weight. Okay? So the first thing to do, diabetes can make someone lose weight. So one of the first things that you should do, okay, is to reduce your, your um, to reverse your diabetes. Now, another reason for the weight loss is the medications. Because some of you, your body does a good job at bringing down your blood sugar. Okay? So what happens is as you are taking medications that help you reduce your blood sugar and your kidney and your thyroid gland is also working over time, trying to also remove their own sugar, it can then, your body will think that you are, you are starving, okay? And what would happen is it will begin to shed weights. It will begin to make use of that fact that, it, that it's already stored, okay? And expend this because it thinks that you are starving. So one of the key things to do is, first off, try to reverse your diabetes. And then you can also have a reduction in your medications. I'm telling you the cause of your diabetes now, okay? That is the cause of the weight loss so that you know what is causing it, not to stop what is causing it, okay? Which is your diabetes, all right? And then you can reduce your medication with the 
with the recommendation of your doctor and yes you can you can add other things of you know weight gain if you want to wait if you want to gain weight but then i wouldn't advise it because gaining weight would simply mean that you are just basically starting afresh okay because you really have to be careful so if you now um if you are losing weight you wouldn't be on a fasting guide as people who are who are not you know planning to lose weight okay i don't know if you get what i mean so your practices would be less okay so instead of going on a 30 hour fast you can go on a 20 hour fast okay all right and you can also consume a bit more carbohydrates to help you with your weight gain you know if it's so particular to you okay all right also if if you look at your weight over the past year okay and it's not more than five percent that is you haven't lost about five percent of your body weight then you are good to go if you have lost five percent of your body weight then it's something that you should be worried about okay that is the kind of weight loss you should be worried about as a diabetic patient all right okay so i hope that that helps you to add weight first of all be done with your diabetes reduce some medications and you can consume a few more carbs to help you add weight, okay? I hope that I have answered your question. Yes, you can simply order your meal plan only. You can order your multivitamin only, or you can get both. The choice is yours, okay? Whichever choice you choose to make, please remember that this offer ends on the 31st of January, okay? All right. So your multivitamin has a free delivery nationwide and your meal plan has a 50% discount. Okay. All right. Any more questions? Any more questions? Any more questions? Okay, so if there are no more questions, I would end the session here, okay? Thank you for joining me live and I would keep you updated via email, all right? There would be more subsequent um, classes aside this one, okay? All right, take care everyone. Have a good evening. Take good care of yourself. I wish you the best of health.